everyone, welcome to Gigi's Graphic Studio. Today, we're going to create our first tutorial for Mixed Media Journal. And I'm so excited, because it's also my first page on my first journal, and you're going to be part of this beautiful adventure. So, let's get started. The first product that we're going to need is a very good quality journal, and this time, I get one from Ranger. We're going to use different materials, that's why we need a good good journal. Alright, so let's get started with the instruction. So now well, we're going to start add to our journal a uh, tissue paper. And I'm going to start mark all the corners with my pencil because we need to know exactly the size what I need to be cut. And this tissue paper we're going to add to our journal. And we need two pieces for each side of the journal. All right, so we're going to add this uh, tissue paper with some uh, medium matte glue, multi-medium matte glue. And I'm going to start out with my medium soft brush. And I need to add the glue all around the page. And now I need to start out my tissue paper and I need to soften it with the bone folder and also I need if I need I, I can use a little bit more on the on the edge of the page and I'm going to do the same thing for the other side of the page and also I need to be put a little bit of glue on the top of the tissue paper and when the glue is dry I, I'm going to start cut the, the excess of the tissue paper and also you can use your hands for cut the excess Sometimes it's more easy doing like this. <laughs> All right. If you don't have any bone folder, you can use your ruler for softening the, the tissue paper. All right. So now when the glue is dry, you can, you're going to start use your gesso. Put a little bit gesso on the top of your tissue paper and try to to leave like this, don't leave like perfect, you, you don't need to leave perfect because we're going to ink it up and I, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, ink, just some drops and I'm going to try to to mix the gesso with the ink with any piece of paper or also you can use a wipey, a baby wipe and you need to put all the ink and all around the gesso and try to to get the excess of the gesso with your with your wipey we don't need to leave a, li uh, a lot gesso in the tissue paper so it's gonna look like this just a very light layer alright guys for the next steps uh, I'm going to speed up the video and add some music so having fun